How do you like working at Starbucks? Something <laughs> national. Yeah. You like called me, you're like, you need to get in line right now. We were in the newspaper. Oh, okay. It <laughs> You've been in a coma for 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> See, now it's like we have to sit down a lot further. <laughs> we put it. <laughs> what do you think? Your eyelashes look massive. <laughs> no, it's as low as it goes. Oh, make it brighter. Oh, okay. It <laughs> You've been in a coma for 10 years. <laughs> I swear, there's people like walking by that definitely want to know what's going on in here. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. If you guys saw the first video that we posted on Sarah's channel, then you know who Sarah is. Hi. But for those of you that don't know who Sarah is, Sarah is my the sister. The most important person in her life. <laughs> my <laughs> sister-in-law. Best friend. If you see me awkwardly holding, you could hear that. <laughs> so bad. So, I'm gonna hold my arm over here. So we are giving you a little like night in the life. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not anything crazy. We've had a lot of crazier nights. <laughs> <laughs> so our day started out with Sarah coming over to my house just to like stop by. And then we decided to go and get coffee and some other things. Donuts. Things I'm not supposed to be eating. Same. And as I was setting the camera up there, apparently there was like a jelly donut that had leaked. <laughs> Her dashboard and now my sleeve has jelly on it. Anyways, we're like rambling and not even telling them what we're doing. Do you yeah. Want, do you want to tell them what we're doing? We're going in Target. We're gonna go romp through the Christmas section. They're gonna hate us. I have not been to like any stores since they put Christmas stuff out because mm -hmm. I'm like a hermit. Yeah, but first thing I need to do is definitely get something to wipe my sleeve off because. <laughs> Also coffee because that's like second. On the list. Yeah, decaf for me, but also same. Something else that is so cool about today is it is snowing, and we live in central Pennsylvania. Of course, we've got like tons of snow every year, but this is the first snow. It is the first, snow. and it was Sage's first yeah, it snow. Yeah, was. It was so cute. It was so cute. <laughs> she just was like looking. If you guys don't know, Sage is my niece or his little girl, and this is her first winter. So she was just like in awe because it's huge snowflakes. I'll probably insert some footage, but like it's just, it's a pretty snow, the first snow. So yeah. I think it's pretty appropriate that we're starting off some Christmas stuff and it decided to snow. So what are you think, kind of looking for? I need a tree. Yeah, she does really need and a tree. And honestly, I wait for Target to tell me what I need. <laughs> yeah. I really do. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that does happen. I think, I'm gonna put a think. Uh -huh. Do you want to tell them what we're going to do on your channel? Oh, we're going Black Friday shopping. It's With no kids. That's just dangerous. Yeah, like no way I would take my children. And we are tackling food. Black Friday. We did this like five years ago. Yeah, something like that. We were in the newspaper. Yeah, we were in the newspaper. For a vacuum. So I got a vacuum cleaner like the year before, I think, at mm -hmm. Kohl's for like almost nothing. Yeah. And then she was like, I need you. Like somehow I was there first. Yeah, you were in line. No, 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 you made me get in line for you. Oh, yes, I did, yes, I yeah, did. Yeah, because, like, I was waiting in, a, in the car, and yeah. you, like, called me, you're like, you need to get in line right now, because if you don't, I'm not going to get the vacuum cleaner I want. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I stood in line for her and froze my butt off. Well, yeah, she made her way to me. After we stood in line, some newspaper reporter came through and asked us questions or something about Black Friday shopping. Yep, and we were in the newspaper. And then we were in the newspaper. The yeah. local newspaper. <laughs> yeah, I mean, nothing. Nothing large. Nothing <laughs> national. Yeah, <you know>, so. <laughs> We'll get there. <laughs> yeah. Look out for that. It could, it could, let's just say, for good reasons. For All for good all reasons. All good reasons. <laughs> all right, anyways, let's go get our coffees. Let's go have a little bit of fun. I'm excited to hang out together tonight. Have a girls night. We've been, I've been needing this. Just to have some fun. But I need to go take care of this jelly. <laughs> like, look at this snow. It's so pretty. See jelly me. It is oh, so it. sticky. <laughs> Oh, there's more. Like two moms that are just family gathering. Because we're family. Okay, it's not sticking anymore. How do you like working at Starbucks? It's so fun. It's fun. Are you going to make us something good? So this is Debbie. I'm her sister. Can you tell we're related? Thank you to Timu for sponsoring today's video. Timu is an online marketplace which offers the most competitively priced products in multiple categories. Similar to Amazon on Timu, you can find almost anything but at an even lower price. From fashion to jewelry, kitchenware to pet supplies, Timu provides customers with top quality products at an ultra affordable price so that more people can enjoy the conveniences and comforts of life. 
To learn more about Timu, visit timu.com or download the Timu app. Today I'm showing you a few of my favorite products from Timu and as you can see I've been using them around my house along with a few of their most comfortable fashion pieces for this time of year. I got a few sweaters and jackets to keep me nice and warm during these cool months. I've been enjoying their fashion accessories as well and little things to help me out in my kitchen and around my home. You will notice as you see the different products that the price is in the corner of the screen and yes, that is how low the prices are on timu.com. They have a huge variety of products that you can wear and ones that are just simply helpful. Free shipping is offered to new users and free returns for up to 90 days. There's various safe payment methods, including PayPal, credit card, Apple Pay, Google Pay, and more are accepted. It is 100% secure and personal information is protected. I really love these silicone container covers that stretch over many sized dishes. I've also been enjoying this handy tool to help me grip the lids on jars to pop them open easily. If you guys have been watching me a long time, you know how much I love fun cups and drinkware. It just helps me stay hydrated and a fun statement piece. To celebrate Timu's launch, Timu has organized a grand opening promotion for its customers. During this special promotion period, my followers will get an extra 40% off sale prices. From chic outfits to lifestyle items, accessories, shoes, crafts, sports gear, home decor, and much more. You can find all all kinds of products on Timu. These low prices won't last long, so don't miss out on these amazing deals. Check out the link in the description box and click on the link for 40% off or use my special promotion code on timu.com. To make shopping even easier, you can go ahead and download the Timu app and shop from there. We been fueled. You could even put those on a wall, even though, they're kind of, even though they're kind of a tray. They have all of this cute hot chocolate stuff. I love this one. There's so much you could do with these. I know. I like the red ones. Oh my gosh. What would you put in them? Like little marshmallows and hot cocoa. Oh, you're saying just for the, the, the hot chocolate bar. Yeah. Mmm, that's a good the idea. White. Would be red, right? Yeah, if you're gonna put red in it. This is the color of the... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And since they're inexpensive, like putting them out on the porch isn't the worst thing them. if like they get ruined. Oh, they have lights in them. Oh, it doesn't work Oh, you'd have to like pull the tab. I bet they're like the little twinkle lights too. See, this is why I should have looked at my stuff before I came in here, but I love these wooden trees. They definitely didn't have these last year. All right, so we're moving on from Oh my goodness. <laughs> get lights. Yeah, don't don't put that on. <laughs> now we're going to like the real Christmas section, right? I hope I'm not shaking this around too much. All right, so they have all of these men's like stocking stuffers and stuff like that. <laughs> so we got like sidetracked. Oh, that smells good. But do you think do you smell good? <laughs> you just throw that in your cart. Do you smell? What moms do. All right, so it's probably gonna get dark here in a second, but we had to cut that whole situation short. I'm not even gonna show Sarah so she doesn't get distracted, <laughs> but there is, how much snow do you think is on the ground? I'd say six inches by now. Yeah, and there has been on the main road that goes by our target, there's been six accidents, six. We're not gonna be seventh. We're not, we are not. 
Sarah prayed for us before we left, so. <laughs> and we are going to try to make it through this. So as much as I started this out as a night in the life, it's probably gonna turn into a day in the life. And tomorrow I'll show you the stuff that I got at Target. We were gonna go try to go to TJ Maxx, but that's not even gonna happen now. How's it feel? It's fine. She's like testing the brakes. Yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm turn the fine. camera around and show you the roads. I have brand new, I have winter tires on. Yeah. But I don't know if you can see how bad they are. Like there's been pile trucks through a couple times now and it looks like that. Yeah. So. But it's like a good amount of snow. I feel like when you grow up in a northern state, you just learn how to drive. Yeah, you teach your kids yeah. how to drive. <laughs> yeah learn how to drive i've had some like when i was a teenager i had like probably two accidents in the snow i never have as long as i see tractor trailers still going pretty fast i think we're good i mean they're heavy but yeah it's still they're not like at a crawl yeah like this isn't bad like this is, and it's not freezing yet yeah hopefully yeah and I mean, corey degrees, corey still has to come and get us because um we have a, a vehicle in the garage so i don't even have my car and yeah, so we're gonna have an adventure yet tonight and hopefully everything goes okay. Hey guys, so it's a few days later and I didn't even film any more that night and we did get home safely and actually we went back to Sarah's house and until Corey picked us up, the roads had melted off a lot. So everything was all good. We didn't have any crazy accidents or anything like that, but we had a total blast whenever we went shopping even though it was cut short and I'm super excited for Black Friday shopping and it's fun to kind of show the more like bubbly side of me here on camera um, I feel like a lot of times I'm having conversation with the camera or with you guys but it's not like having a live conversation with somebody and just being silly and having yeah, having fun. So anyway, so that was a lot of fun. I did get a couple of things that I'm really excited about. I got a woven tree collar that is on the bottom of our tree. I also got a sign that's out on the front porch. I got a wreath for over my stove and a little nativity scene. If you guys watched my neutral Christmas decor video on my home channel, then you probably already saw all of those things. And um, I just love being able to have decor that I can enjoy for a long time. I talked about that in that video. So right now I am sitting here taking a little water break since I've been cutting the coffee. It's been a lot of drinking water. I love this water bottle, by the way. It's a half gallon. It's easy to haul around with me because it has this handle and this handle and it's very well sealed so I can throw it in the car and it's not going to leak all over the place. But the last couple of days have been really fun. Corey and I took a whole staycation weekend we were debating on going somewhere and just random circumstances came up and we were decided you know what instead of trying to do the stressful thing of packing up and leaving <laughs> we're just gonna stay home so we went out to eat at some new places some of our favorite places and just had fun watching movies and just honestly being together, laughing till we cried. We just, it was such a good weekend and so recharged me. I feel like those kind of date times are so important. And even though we're usually very good about planning times and dates through the week, this last couple of weeks have been really busy for us. And so the girls wanted to go to their grandparents. They hadn't been to either side of the grandparents for a while. So they spent half the weekend um, at my parents and half the week with Corey's parents and they had so much fun just kind of getting out of the house doing that too so we really had a great weekend and lots of like late night talks and just fun it was just really fun so I feel really really rebooted and today I'm actually getting ready to film the next video you guys are gonna see and it is a meal prep shocker I know I haven't done meal preps in quite some time and I have lots of them here on my channel but recently I just haven't filmed very many of them and I'm ready to get back into it and one of the reasons that I really need to start practicing meal prepping again is because of my eating and I talked 
talked about this in my update video, my like two videos ago, something like that, um, where I talked about that I have ha had some health concerns and so I have to really narrow my eating down to very clean, very low sugar, a lot of those things. So that takes prepping because you can't just order that on DoorDash generally, especially for the area we live in. There's not a lot of like healthy places to order from, which kind of stinks but it just means that a lot more thought and process has to go into meal prepping. Plus, I'm gonna be honest, I do so much better putting meals together whenever I have put thought into them and really organized my thinking on what I want for each day. So instead of like an hour before dinner going, oh no, what am I gonna make? And I'm trying to thaw things out quick from the freezer or whatever. That's that little ramble on meal prepping. I've gotten away from it and I'm ready to get back to it because our lives just run so much better if I meal prep. <laughs> I can't say that enough times. So for those of you that have been saying we've been missing them, they're coming back and so is more regular posting. Um, I am coming back with meal preps but I'm going to continue with more like vlog style content and just whatever I feel like filming, just chatting, just being a friend, talking about life, talking about faith, talking about all those things and even fun things like this video of us going to do a little bit of Christmas shopping and whatnot. So. I'm not gonna ramble anymore. I just wanted to wrap up this video. I wanted to say thanks for watching. Leave your comments below. I love to hear those. Go follow me on Instagram. I'm back on there. I'm trying to get on there more often. Chat with you guys on stories. As weird as it sounds, being someone that my job is YouTube and Instagram and all of those things, I don't always feel like I'm functioning the best being on a lot of social media. So whenever I'm taking a step back, it's just because I needed it for my mental health that flows into your physical health. <laughs> I'm okay. All right. Ran it in because I could go on some more rabbit trails. I'm so thankful for all of my viewers and subscribers and people that have stuck with me through thick and thin. And I'm gonna go chug some water and pull out stuff to get meal prepping. And I'll see you guys in that video.